Hi, I guess. Hi. I guess Shelly's not guess here. Here. And I'm in twice. And I'm, I'm in twice. twice. Sorry. 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 Uh, yes, we can, Adam. All right, so um, I'll start the session until um, Shelly gets here. Okay. Okay. Uh, Adam, I think um, you've been introduced a few times. Your name has come up a few times, and uh, we're really happy to have you with us. Uh, your PowerPoint presentation is right there, so uh, you can get started. Thank you for joining us, everyone. If you could just add in the chat where you're from and anything else you'd like to add. And I'll just uh, pop out. I'm just recording this through uh, Camtasia. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay, good. Uh, well, it's like uh, most people can hear me, so that's a good thing. Um, so if, if for some reason you can't hear me, then try to tell me in the chat box, but I'm just going to go for it. So this is my, my first um, webinar, so a little bit nervous. I'll be able just to kind help. Of, uh, trying I to figure out how everything twice. works. I don't know who that but, um, thing is. It's not uh, really It me. seems good so far. Uh, because I've uh, so I'm just going to go for it. video camera off, but uh, I'll try to okay. find out. Uh, Dr. Nelly is telling you that. Open. If you need me to move the slides or anything, I'll be happy to do that. Okay. Okay. Um, so. Uh, okay. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. I should be okay. Um, but thank you. Excellent. Okay. Um, so. Uh, well, let's get started. I guess so. I'll give you um, just a brief, uh, brief background uh, about myself. I've been teaching in. Uh, ELT for the last four years now um, and those four years have been here in Spain um, and uh, I'm currently sitting in my in my living room uh, here in Madrid um, and the sun's going now it's quite a nice picturesque scene really so um, so yes uh, I've been teaching for four years and uh, the main aim of, uh, of this talk today is to kind of tell you about my own experience with blogging uh, and you can see from the title there uh, um, it, it's my blogging experience and blogging about uh, experimental um, practice in ELT so the talk itself yeah I mean I, I barely remember any of it now but um, it went on and things started to, to settle down um, I got started to get into a conversation with my with my boss about about the course books that we were using in the school. And when I say a conversation, actually, I, I was moaning about them. I was complaining about them, saying that I didn't think they were particularly good, I, and um, they were kind of getting in the way almost of, of, of proper teaching. And, and, um, and my boss was taking this on board so she she pointed me in the direction of, of a new approach that was that had been around for a while in e ELT but uh, I think um, of the release of, of this book you can see it here in the picture uh, teaching unplugged it, it started to kind of uh, gain ground in ELT and she told me that um, if you're worried about using course books if you want to try and do something different, then you should look into this this approach of, uh, for teaching ELT. Um, and I looked into this approach, and I did a very short course. It was an introduction to, to teaching Unplugged, and I became very interested in it. And the idea behind teaching Unplugged is is quite a simple one, really. Um, uh, the, the book and, and initially the idea was 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 brought into ELT by Scott Thornbury and he and Luke Meddings they wrote this book together and the idea is quite simple that, that what they're trying to promote what they want people to do is to is to go into the classroom without materials uh, to, to kind of leave the course books at the uh, outside go in just a teacher 
and the teacher uh, uses and utilizes what the students bring to the class. And it's all about conversation-driven teaching. Um, the materials are, are minimal at best, um, and it's a very, very interesting, and I think it has a, a very big place in ELT. And, and when I was reading about this, this approach, and, um, and I did a very short course on it, uh, it, it really appealed to me, and I thought that this was something that I, I really wanted to, to get into. So, uh, actually, just as I was getting into it, um, there was going to be a Teaching Unplugged conference in, um, in Barcelona, and, and what was going to happen was Scott and Luke were going to um, demonstrate how Teaching Unplugged worked in, in front of a live audience. Which, is, which in itself is quite an interesting and unique concept. Uh, and, I, and I knew that I wanted, or I knew that I had to be there. It was something I wanted to, to, to see. Um, so I went to, to Barcelona and, and I went to this conference and, and I was very lucky um, to witness uh, both Scott and Luke teach a, a live class for one hour. Uh, there, were, there were 12 volunteer students there. Um, and behind, sat behind those students were about, I would say, maybe 30 or 40 other people watching them teach. So it was a very, um, uh, it was a lot of pressure on both Scott and Luke. And all they had in this room was a chalkboard and some chalk, and that was all they had. And for one hour, they, um, they, they did this amazing class uh, about um, the protests that were happening in uh, in Barcelona at the time, uh, and it was just a joy to watch, and it, and it really opened my eyes to to, to, to what um, I, I believe is, is real teaching. Uh, you know, just using what the students are saying, what they're thinking, what they're believing, and, and using the language that they that they use, um, uh, and making a class out of it. So this was a fantastic experience. Um, and the, the conference continued, and what happened was uh, after the, the live class happened, we all went back to a school and we, we broke down into different almost um, conversation groups where we were talking and discussing about Teaching Unplugged. And uh, I was lucky enough to find myself in a group with Scott uh, Thornbury, who, who wrote the book and, and who, who I mentioned did the class. And, and our, our, the main aim of our group was to talk about research in, uh, in, to research Teaching Unplugged itself, to try to get some sort of solid um, background to it. So people who, who were quite skeptical about it could, could say, hey, well, you know, has anyone researched this? And, and people could say, well, actually, yes, we've done it and we've looked into it and it, and it works. So um, it, I kind of got carried away. And I was kind of excited and, and, and um, you know, just to be sat in a room with, with someone like Scott, I kind of got a bit carried away and, I, and I, I, I immediately volunteered and said that, hey, I would do, um, I would do some research. And, and I, th I don't think anyone really took me seriously because uh, this is my first year in teaching and uh, no one really knew me here at the conference. But this, this idea was, or this seed was planted in my head, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to do this. I really believe in this, and, um, and, and I think this is going to be good for me. So I, I left the conference, and I went back, uh, back to my school, and I told my boss uh, about this idea, about, about doing research, and, and perhaps uh, doing some sort of experiment with, with teaching Unplugged in the school. And at first, she was a little bit surprised that I was willing to, to take on extra work. Um, but immediately, she said, yes, OK, let's do this. This is a good idea, and you know, I think it'll be good for you. And she suggested that if I was going to do an experiment, I should document the process. And she suggested that um, I create a blog. Um, and I hadn't really thought about this, but when she talked about it, it seemed like the, the logical step. I needed some sort of platform to, to, to tell people about what was happening. 
uh, in the classroom and what I was doing. Um, so then I had to think about uh, creating a blog and what a blog um, or how the blog was going to work with the project itself. And if I'm totally honest, um, I wasn't quite sure what a blog entailed, what it was, um, and so on. And my first impression of blogs was that um, it, blogs were, were for geeks. And, and I had this image of um, kind of you know, long-haired people with glasses on, sitting up late at night, talking about conspiracy theories, Star Wars, and Star Trek, and things like this. And um, after I started researching and, and really looking into blogs, I realized that this, this clearly wasn't, um, uh, wasn't the truth, and that there was a huge, huge blogging community. And in particular, there was a big blogging community with, um, with teachers. And my, my boss, Emily Bell, she, she encouraged me to read as many blogs as I could um, and, and see how other teachers were, were talking about what was happening in their classes. So I did that a lot. I, I was lucky that I had the summer to prepare. So I was doing a lot of reading. And, and obviously, while I was reading, I was looking into the types of blogs that they had and the platforms that they were using. And uh, the, the one that came, seemed to, to be coming up a lot was WordPress and eventually I settled on using WordPress um, as, uh, for my blog and um, there are a couple of reasons for this. I think that the, the, the layout of WordPress is particularly good, it's, it's very appealing. I think that it can look uh, quite professional and um, also I think once you get into WordPress and using WordPress, it's particularly easy um, to use. Um, you can just see here a, a screenshot. This is perhaps not um, uh, the best screenshot, but this is my 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 first blog. This is what I set up, and I really enjoyed the process of creating the blog itself. Um, it, it took a while. Uh, it, it wasn't particularly easy. It, it required kind of going in and, and, and editing and, and making mistakes. Um, but it, it was something that um, is worth taking your time over. I don't think that creating a blog is something that you can particularly rush into. So if you really are going, if you are thinking about blogging or you want to get into blogging, do your research and take your time. When you found the platform you want, take your time developing um, this platform and, and the blog that you want. And, and the picture you can see now is is actually a, 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 a screenshot of desktop in WordPress. And you can see here that uh, on the side it's a, it's a typical sidebar and you go into this and it gives you another menu. And, and, and really with investigation it's quite easy. It's called desktop in WordPress, and you can see here that uh, on the side is a is a typical sidebar, and you go into this, and, and it gives you other menus, and and, and really with, with investigation, it's quite easy to use. Um, and the good thing with WordPress in particular is there's, there is a lot of support with WordPress itself. Um, there are lots of help pages. There is also, um, uh, you know, people are online in mind. So if there is a problem with your blog, you can go online, speak to them.